The fourth beta for iOS 16 and iPadOS 16 were sent out to developers today. And while most of the changes are usually pretty small at this point in time, uh, there are a few notable changes and additions worth pointing out for beta 4. Starting with messages, beta 4 now adds new limits for editing and unsend features and messages. So when you edit a message, the edit history is now sent to the recipient along with the edit. So the original content is visible. On an edited iMessage, you can now tap on the small blue edited label to see the edit history, and it can be hidden again by tapping on hide edits. Prior to this beta, an edited message noted that it was edited, but there was no option to tap and see what the previous message was. In addition to adding an edit history, iMessages can now only be edited a total of five times before the edit option disappears. But there's still a 15 minute window for making an edit. The edit history can be avoided by unsending an iMessage and then resending it, but Apple has also implemented an undo send limitation. You're now only able to unsend an iMessage for up to two minutes after it's delivered down from the original 15 minute window. Activity Kit Beta is now available in Beta 4, which will let app devs start creating apps that are able to take advantage of the new live activity feature that was introduced at WWDC for iOS 16. Now, developers can use Activity Kit to configure, start, update, and end a live activity. Apple says an app's widget extension creates the user interface of the live activity, but live activities are not widgets and ultimately use a different mechanism to receive this update. You can now customize the amount of time for undo send delay in the mail app, adding in a 10 and 30 second option in addition to the 20 seconds that was actually the default option from before. There's a new graphic that displays the difference between each notification option like stack, count, and list. And on the lock screen, the now playing interface has been slightly changed with bolder graphics and fonts. And there's also an add widget indicator. Whenever you're customizing your lock screen and you have an empty space, it'll let you know where widgets can be placed on your lock screen. The home screen also received a slightly new interface when customizing. And these are just some of the changes for beta four. Of course, as I mentioned before, they're not gonna be drastic at this point during the beta process, but getting these new messages feature and of course live activities is a new feature that's going to be a big one once it's available and from developers uh, with their apps. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as if you've been using the new public beta of iOS 16, what are your thoughts on it? Go ahead and let me know down in those comments. This been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.